Hey guys, Dopamine and Balance here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make thumbnails. In particular, my thumbnails and how I make mine for my videos. I'm going to be teaching you hints and little strategies that will make your thumbnails more eye catching and receive more views. Remember, thumbnails have a lot to do with your views. When you have something that comes up as recommended from another video, you want somebody to click on your video, but when you don't have a thumbnail that's very eye-catching, you don't have anything that pops up nicely and gets their attention, they're most likely not going to click on it. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make proper thumbnails, but as well, good thumbnails. Thumbnails that just pop out nicely and are very unique as well. Alright, let's step into it. So I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here. And, uh, let me go ahead and exit out of all this. I've got a screenshot laid out here for me. And we'll get to that very soon. But right now, I'm going to pull up an image that I had just recently downloaded. And it's a little colorful image right here. <laughs> just give me a second. I had it all laid it out, laid out, but um, some stuff happened and I had to get away from the image. All right. That'll do nicely. I'm not looking to make it very proportionized. I'm just looking to get it on here. All right. Let's get our text tool. And uh, let's get this text tool. Oh, also, it goes without saying, you don't want small text. Because, you know, this right here, this is about the size of a thumbnail on YouTube. And it's going to be really hard seeing anything when it's so tiny. Even when you think, you know, like if I type something right here on the Google search box, hey, you know. That looks normal size to you, but on a thumbnail, not going to be so big. All right, so let me capitalize this. Something, and let me get a different. There we go. That'll work. Something. So, actually, something. All right. Let me point some things out here. All right, we have multiple colors on this image. Very many colors, actually. Very many. I mean, a lot of colors. Most of them are dark colors. Indigo, red, purple, and black. Stuff like that. Um, the lighter colors are like orange, yellow, white, pink. Um, if I put this in the middle, if I put this anywhere, especially here, you're not going to read it. You can't even read it as it is right here. Full, uh, full size and everything. So you're not going to read it as a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and grab this. Make it, let's grab a bigger font, actually. No, wrong tool. Let's grab a bigger font. Impact, that'll do. So as we can see, still, it's very big. It's bolder. It's nice. But... Still, we have too many dark colors on this image for it to pop out nicely. Even if we put over here with the whites, it'll pop out. But as a thumbnail, it's so small, it's not going to pop out nicely. It's not eye-catching, really. It's just not going to work. So, what you would do for this cause... No, actually, what would happen is if you had something like this, you'd just get rid of this thumbnail completely. Your little canvas you'd get rid of it because it's not going to work. But if you had to do something here, then I would suggest you put it to the lightest colors or you get this text, change your color, get it as wide as we can get it. We are at full size for this font on Pixlr. So you take it over here to the bottom, you do that. You're not gonna want a lot of uh, not gonna want a lot of words because you know it's it's a little crazy here. I'm using a terrible example, but you get the point. Pops out a little bit, but you get the point with colors and the differentials and all that. So let me go ahead and get rid of all this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. There we go. Now I've got a screenshot here. I'm gonna jump into it. So, something, I'll just type the same thing over again. 
I see this a lot. People make thumbnails, custom thumbnails, and they go ahead and put their text in the middle of the image. That's okay, and if it's big, it's definitely noticeable. It can be red, but it's not eye-catching. Not to me, and I'm pretty sure not to you, but we have a lot of colors over here in the middle and the bottom, all that. Too contrasty to put something like this in the middle. If we change it to white, not going to make a difference. Too many colors, and they're all contrasty. But we have a lot of space. We have a little bit of space here of white, so we can put that down here. But it just looks silly. And depending on what you're typing, not going to be useful. But we have a lot of white space right here. And I do this a lot with screenshots. I'll find an area that will be prime to go ahead and put text. Always do that. So I'm going to go back to my text tool. And I'm going to select this. And let me type something else. Um, C, actually, the secrets of winter hold, secret, no, secrets of college, secrets, actually, make this pop out better, I'll use all, uh, caps lock, secrets of the college, part, come down here, keep it black, because of course, it's going to pop out nicely. Grab a better font here. Edo will do nicely. I use that a lot, as you can tell. Make it a little bit bolder. Perfect. Sometimes I like multiply the colors and do it that way, but um, it really pops out nicely, and it distributes a great point. So I'm not going to do anything else. Um, that didn't even take a lot of effort. But this is a prime example. I'm already done. I've got my wallpaper, I mean my thumbnail ready, and you can see it pops out nicely. It pops out so well, almost as like this text is actually in game, and it's right behind the college. But there we go. Good example of what you should do when it comes to just, you know, I don't bash middle text. There's nothing wrong with putting something in the middle, especially when it's clear enough to see and it's bold enough, big enough, but, you know, it's nice to be unique. It's nice to be different, and also it helps most of the time when you put it somewhere where it can be very visually seen. Um, but yeah, also, I don't really know why it was so white back here in the sky, but uh, I think around that time I was uh, experimenting with um, Imaginator, and that's why. So in case you're wondering, that's probably why. Anyway, we're done. So let's go ahead and save this image. And I'll name it... Da, da, da. Once it pops up here. It's still loading resolutions, which I don't know why, because it's on JPEG. Secrets, same thing, secrets of the college. Change this to a PNG. Most of the time, I go for PNGs, because in fact, full quality, full image uh, resolution. And most people will be like, oh, well, I don't want to use up so much space. Well, you know, even if you do get to a meg of space, which on, well, Pixlr, PicMonkey, you're really not going to do that. Especially not with a screenshot. I mean, it, I don't know. But if that does happen, it's not a big deal. At least not for me. Uh, due to the fact that um, I download these thumbnails. And then I put them on YouTube for the video. And then I delete the image. I'm not going to need it. So, I really don't worry about space. I get the best resolution I can get. And I go ahead and go with that. So, we're done with that image. And uh, we might move on to another. While I'm at it, I'll take this moment to uh, go ahead and showcase all my thumbnails.
forgot to uh, <laughs> forgot to add the overlay that I had saved. Um, it happens. But the reason that I downloaded this overlay, not only was I going to use it for stylization, but um, also to show a little thing that I do sometimes, and that is, hold up, got to find where it is. Give me a sec. Here it is. Sorry. I came back, so I don't know exactly where I saved this PNG. All right. Now the PNG is here. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, actually, go ahead and change the color of this. Also, PicMonkey has a uh, blend feature. As you can see, all these, one that's very useful is the multiply. If you're looking into get, if you're looking to get everything, uh, if you're looking to make 3D tags, anything like that, this would be your way to go. Very unique and very useful, the multiply tool. Um, but we're not showing that. Um, I'm going to turn this a little bit higher, not to where it's this full-on dirty uh, brown, but I'm going to get a little bit lighter. I feel like it pops out a little bit more. I might fade it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fade it. Turn it, or make it flip, I should say. And... I don't want it to... Kind of like the... Uh, kind of like the... Pixar, the uh, pastel effects I have makes everything look very sharp. I don't want to mess that up too much or give away the effect. So I'll go ahead and increase the size of this dust PNG. So where it just hits my font here. Move it over a little bit. Eh, there we go. I'll just leave it like that. Um, and I'll take this back over. There we go. And as you can see, the dust is over my title. So it gives it more of a uh, a depth of field, I guess I should say. Well, not so much because I blurred all of this in the background, besides the uh, electricity coming out of the staff. But I, I mean, it gives you an idea, like the text is in front of the person, in front of everything that's on the image, but also behind the PNG. So it's a very unique thing that I've done. and. I've seen a few people do it, but you know, it's all personal preference. I think it's very unique. Go go ahead and save this and go on my merry way. All right. So we have another wallpaper up. Screenshot. This one in particular is from the um Gravelord mod and um let me go ahead and move this around a little bit. See as you can see, he's right in the middle. Don't really have, I can do a middle text, but it'll have to be very light. It'll have to be very bold. I don't quite want to do that. So what I'm going to do is, is this is already zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead, get it over here. There we go. Leave it like that. Perfect. Now, I've done that. I'm going to grab my text tool. Actually, I have some uh, customized fonts already. On my drive, I'm going to go ahead and put those on here. And since those are basically just PNGs, you can go ahead and use them as a layer like any other. Add them over. It's not quite. It's not quite here. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, let me go ahead. It's not popping up. I'll go ahead and delete the layer. Try to do that one more time. There we go. Kind of scared me for a second. I was not ready for that. All right, I'm going to shift with Pixlr. If you want to go ahead and keep the proportion of it while increasing the size, you want to hit shift then go with your size. Instead, if you don't do that, then it's going to be all over the place like this. You don't want to do that. No, there we go. Make this text a little bit bigger.
Yes. Add that layer. Accept it. And grab my other one. Free transform, since this is a PNG. Make it a little bit smaller. I don't want it to come off the edge like this. Even the shadow. I don't want the shadow to even do that, because that's not what I'm trying to do here. All right. Actually, this isn't as big as I want it, so I'm going to kind of stretch it up like this. Just a little. It gives it a certain emphasis that it's zooming in. It's popping out a little bit more than the other text is. And uh, apply. But there we go. Another example of what I do. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. And this is basically all that I'm going to show you. Um, but yeah, this is a change of most of my other videos. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it was helpful to some degree. And uh, I hope you... Stay tuned for more content on my channel, and I'll see you guys later.